see this sentence here. I have taken it from the web page. You see here, it's this one. Tilde 11, for the correct sentence structure, communication, syntax, language of the facts are with the claim of the one in 900 terms of each word's correct meaning within the sentence structure. And I have copy and pasted that into a Word document. And we're going to do some forensics on it. But first we have to lay out some ground rules, some grammar rules. With correct sentence structure, there is a mathematical interface. This mathematical interface is achieved by using a part of speech called the positional. There are four positionals. You see this at the top of your page here. For, by, of, and with. For serves the function of the cause of the sentence, and there is only one cause per sentence, and it is congruent with by, which would be the authority of the sentence, which comes at the end of the sentence, and there is only one authority of the sentence. And then you have the positional of, which is known as, serves the function of the concern, i.e. the consequence, and that is congruent with with, which serves the function of possessive. So in correct sentence structure, the main idea is one and one is one. One word, one meaning, one function, one congruency. As you can see, the meaning of for is ca or the function of for is cause. The function of by is authority. The function of of is concern. The function of with is possessive. One function per positional, four positionals. One congruency per positional. For is congruent with by, by is congruent with for, of is congruent with with, with is congruent with of. So now you see a sentence here given an example of how it's used, and I have written it as a graph. So we have for the fact, which is the cause, of the fact, which is the concern, then you put your verb in. There's always two position lodial fact phrases in front of the verb, for the fact, of the fact. Principle behind this is you need two points with which to draw a straight line to establish your geometric level playing field of communication. For the fact, of the fact, verb, moving you into the possessive and the authority. So you have is, which is singular. There is one verb in correct sentence structure, is, and also the plural form of that, are. And that is contingent upon the plurality or singularity of the cause, the fact in the cause part of the sentence. So if fact was facts, then the verb would have to be R. As it stands, we're not saying that. We're saying it's a fact, so it's singular is. Has nothing to do with this. If it's for the fact of the facts, it wouldn't be R. It still is because the fact in the cause position is singular. A lot of people miss that fine little detail. So this is a basic structure. It must start with for the, and it must end with a by the, because going backwards, by becomes for, with becomes of, then you put your verb in, of becomes with, with becomes of, of becomes with, and for becomes by. It says the same thing forwards as it does backwards. For the fact, of the fact, is with the fact, of the fact, with the fact, by the fact. Now let's see if David Wynn Miller's sentence checks out. First of all, facts in correct sentence structure must be preceded by a position lodial phrase. As in, this is a fact, this is a lodial, this is a positional. So you have positional lodial fact, positional lodial fact, positional lodial fact, positional lodial fact, so on and so forth. What if this was in your fact position? For the one, of the one, is, 
with the fact of the fact, with the fact by the fact. Actually, let's put one the whole way down just to be consistent here, just to prove my point. What's happening here? What, what do you see that's happening here? One is being positioned by the positional lodial phrase, meaning if you're going to use facts in a correct sentence, if you're going to use correct sentence structure communication, you must position the fact with a position lodial phrase. Is one a fact? Yes. So it must use the position lodial phrase. Another way to write for the one would be this. For the one. And another way to write of the one would be this. Colon space tilde one. Is, and then so on and so forth. We're not going to get into the use of the colon here too much, just that it represents a position lodial phrase, as I've clearly shown here. What's wrong with this picture? The 11 has not been positioned. There's no colon in front of it. There's no for the in front of it. So what's it doing here? And there's no period following it. There's no dash following it. Short dash. There's no period. There's nothing. So what do we have here? We have an adjective coloring a pronoun followed by an adverb because the 11 has not been positioned right off the bat. That would be like doing this. Does that make any sense to you? This is how it would look if it was actually written as a sentence. One one is one 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 one. So basically, because nothing in, uh, technically speaking, in the domain of correct sentence structure, anything in brackets is not on the page. So it would basically be adjective, 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 pronoun. That's not correct sentence structure. So if you can see the uh, syntax key here, 11 is a pronoun, or I'm sorry. So you can see the syntax key here. 11 is an adjective. Four would be a pronoun. The is an adverb. And then we come to this correct sentence structure communication syntax language. So I, I don't even know what that is because I use correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar. Grammar and language are two different things, folks. Two different things. Why Colin David Eiffel Wayne Colin Miller didn't take the time to be correct in these scenarios is beyond me, beyond the scope of this video. 
I'm pointing out the forensics here. So this would be considered a compound adjective. Then of would be a pronoun. And we know nothing can follow a pronoun except for a break in the continuance of the evidence or an adverb. In facts is an adjective. Are is an adjective. With is a pronoun. And again, the same rule. Nothing can follow a pronoun except for blah, blah, blah. And then claim would be adjective of pronoun the adverb and then we have this compound verb and then of adverb and then each hyphen words hyphen correct hyphen meaning is obviously an adjective within being a pronoun followed by the adverb the and then sentence structure which would be a dangling participle verb so let's get a little bit deeper into this all right let's graph it for the one of the one is with the one of the one with the one by the one. When you go backwards, by becomes for, with becomes of, then you put your verb in, so on and so forth. Does David Wynn Miller's sentence follow those rules? For the blah, 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 of the blah, are, with the blah, of the, of the, within. Now let's double check. Is that actually what it says or did I mistype something? No, I did not. That is exactly what it says. So I'm going to highlight in red critical positional sequencing errors. Because if you read this sentence backwards, what is congruent with within? And is within even a positional that we would use? Let's look up here at our list. For, by, of, and with. I don't see within in there. Of is congruent with with. For is congruent with by. For is the cause. By is the authority. Of is concerned. With is possessive. I don't see anything, any function for within. So going backwards, how would you say that? Of out, meaning, you know, in is congruent with out, with is congruent with of, so hypothetically you could say of out, right? Problem, every correct sentence structure must start with a cause. So if you use within and you start the sentence off, you read it backwards, it would, it would mean of out the sentence structure with each word cor word's correct meaning is with the one in 900 terms of the claim with the facts by the correct sentence structure communication so that voids the mathematical interface now let's creden credential some particles of negation that are in here the ing is a particle of negation The I and N is a particle of negation. The O and 1 is a particle of negation. Actually, we could use a little grace and not do that. But the way that I fixed it was to spell 1 like that. I salvaged it. 
with the digraph of the OE. Another critical error, which I have saved for now because I wanted to see if any of my advanced students would have picked this up, is the verb are. Because this fact is not plural. This is plural, but that has no bearing on the verb. The fact in the cause position determines the plurality or singularity of the verb. So therefore, the verb is incorrect. You would not follow an of the with an of the. Quite clearly stated by David Wynn Miller himself in several videos, which you can find on my YouTube channel, if you look up the word concatenation, You'll find two or three videos of David Wynn Miller giving a similar schematic to the sequencing of positionals as you see right there highlighted in gray. Yes, I know. It's a bit of a dichotomy that I'm using David's teaching even though I am auditing David's grammar. Who can explain it? Not me. So there you go. They're not even, oh, wow. Here's one that I did not mention, which I hope my advanced students picked out. If you look at this sentence right here, you notice there's a hyphen between each and words. So that means there is no lodial in this sentence. You see? Everything else is for the, of the, with the, of the, and then you have of and no lodial. I have to think that this is a typo and that each was meant to be used as a lodial. But again, that's a guess on my part. Who knows with all these other mistakes. And David did not even correctly credential his own technology language instead of grammar, and no par se.